In this segment of Did You Know for Optimum Online, we're going to talk about securing your wireless home network. This is really important because the signal from your wireless router doesn't stop at your front door. The truth is, a wireless signal can travel hundreds of feet from your router, and any neighboring house or business might see your network and try to use your signal. At the least, every time someone else borrows your wireless signal, it slows down the performance of any computer you're using at home. At the worst, someone can hack into your network and even gain access to your computer, your identity, and any files you have stored. The good news is, your wireless router has a number of simple settings that will make your network more secure. You need to be at your computer, and usually you'll need to be on the Internet to complete the steps. I'm going to describe some of the more common settings, but since every brand of router uses different steps to change these settings, you'll need to refer to your router's user guide or the company's website. Then, at the end of this segment, we'll talk about Network Magic, a free online feature that lets you test the security of your wireless network and devices anytime you want. Now, let's talk some technical jargon. Every router comes from the factory with two things already programmed. One is a username and password, and the other is something called an SSID, which is a fancy term for the network ID. Your first line of defense is to change the username and password to something only you will remember, and then change the SSID. Your router manual or website will tell you how to create a unique username and password. The SSID, or network name, is usually just the name of the manufacturer, so it might be Linksys or Netgear, not very unique. People looking for a network to hack into will look for these SSIDs. So an important step in blocking other people from using your network is to change your router's SSID. Pick something unique. Don't use your name, address, or a business name. Most routers also have a function that broadcasts the SSID. You can disable the broadcast function and become virtually invisible to outsiders. To change your SSID and disable the broadcast function, check your router's manual or visit the manufacturer's website for the steps you need to follow. The next option is a bit more secure because you're adding a secret password to access the router. There are two password options, WEP and WPA. What makes WEP and WPA so cool is not only do you need to know the password, but your wireless signal is actually jumbled up or encrypted. WEP has less encryption power than WPA, but there may be some wireless devices that aren't WPA ready. Your router's manual or website will take you through the steps to set up WEP or WPA. Just go online, access your router's configuration page, choose your security setting, enter your secret password, and you're ready to go. Once you've set up either of these security measures, the next time you go online, your router will ask you for the WEP or WPA key. Enter your new password, and the router will accept that computer from then on. If you use more than one computer or a handheld device like a smartphone or PDA, your router will ask each of those devices for the same password too. After you've entered the password from those devices, they're part of the new secret encrypted club you've just created. Anyone else who sees your router on their computer will be asked for your password if they try to access your wireless signal. If they don't know the code, hit the road. They can't use your router's signal. Finally, there's something called Mac filtering, not to be confused with a Mac computer. Mac filtering allows you to specify the only computers and devices authorized to access your wireless network. It's a little more involved to set up, so you'll need to refer to your router's manual or their tech support to give you the specific steps. And last but not least, I'm going to show you how easy it is to examine your home wireless network, including your router and internet connections. As an Optimum Online customer, you have exclusive, free access to the Network Magic Security Scan. All you need to do is go to Optimum.net and click over here where it says Security Center. On the next screen, just click Start Test. Now for the fun part. Watch as the test examines your router and network settings, scans for internet threats, 
and then scans your network devices. Voila, you get the test summary. If there's an issue, just click on View and get a complete report. The whole test will only take about three minutes. Three minutes that will give you peace of mind for a long time. 